Okay, here we go. Here we are, Inner City Press, Matthew Russell Lee, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse. Today, uh, we'll start, why not, with the Trump docket, or at least political legal docket, uh, in which the prosecutors, Alvin Bragg and his team, the team that uh, convicted uh, Trump here in New York was going to appear uh, down on Capitol Hill, but that's been canceled because, of course, the sentencing has been postponed at least until September 18th. So there's that. Uh, also, this morning, just fresh fresh off the docket, in the Sam Bankman-Fried FTX case, two of the cooperators have now been racked up for sentencing. There will be Nishad Singh on October 30th, and there will be Gary Wang on November 20th. We'll cover both of them, but Ellison's still not on the docket, at least as of this hour. It's about 9.30, but we've got to go in because the Bob Menendez closings continue. Um, Monteleone, the assistant uh, uh, U.S. attorney, Yesterday went two hours and 15 minutes, um, uh, really slamming away, and you've got two hours and 45 minutes left, by all accounts. Then there's going to be the defense closings, and then the jury, after the legal instructions, will get the case. We're going all the way to the end with it, Gold Bar Bob 2, and we may have something at the end of this uh, uh, vlog on that topic. There were also yesterday the closings in Wang, Wang of Archegos. The government hit him pretty hard, saying there was no explanation for the type of trading that he did, but... The, the, the defense tried to say, hey, of course, of course he wanted the price of apples to be high since he owned a lot of apples, but he was buying apples. So it's, it's a market manipulation case, and we'll see what the jury says. Guo, not, not clear when they're closing. The defense has witness after witness, and each witness goes longer in that case than in any case I've seen. And it's not just the interpretation, but we're focusing on it from a fox hunt, Operation Fox Hunt point of view. The, US, the UN, as we've reported, assisting Operation Fox Hunt, that would be uh, uh, Guterres, who's now reportedly considering a guy called Robert Piper to fill the vacant humanitarian role. We've written a story, and you can find it online. But what we wanted to do is to do this. This is the kind of, this is, and don't, don't, don't take this wrong, um, this is in the voice of Robert Menendez. Of course, let me say, it's, it's not, he didn't say this, but here goes. This arrogant guy with his yellow tie saying, I sold my office for a few gold bars. I have to sit and listen to him five hours, he wants, to tear me apart with his endless charts. My line is ready on the way to the car. If I'm convicted, who will listen? And even if I'm not, Univision, Telemundo, please do not desert me. Bob Menendez, the voice of Bob Menendez. Yesterday, as he came out of the court, he had something ready. He said the, the government is intoxicated with its own rhetoric. And he focused on the charts, which is, is, is kind of a point. A lot of these prosecutions now are just becoming essentially charts of text messages uh, read to by people that weren't involved in the investigation so they can't be cross-examined. So it's a, it's a unique, the right to confrontation and the charts. Then again, it is the people's text. I don't think it's disputed that those are the texts. But it's hard to cross-examine uh, a paralegal reading from a chart. Okay, that said, we're into Menendez. To be continued, Inner City Press.